There is one question to ask in regards to RU58841 or PSK3841. Same compound, different names. Where are the phase 1, phase 2 human clinical trials? Because they were performed by prostracin, and we have some evidence that we can look at concerning those human clinical trials. In the early 2000s, two promising clinical trials were conducted to assess the efficacy and safety of PSK3841, commonly known as RU58841, in treating androgenetic alopecia. The first study, led by Dr. Evelyn Gnoll, was designed to evaluate the safety and tolerance of a 5% solution of the compound when applied topically to Caucasian males. Meanwhile, the second trial was spearheaded by Dr. Dominique Van Hest and sought to quantitatively estimate hair regrowth in male subjects using two different concentrations of the compound over a six-month period. Despite completing both Phase 1 and Phase 2 of the studies, the results were curiously never released to the public. The last known organization with access to the data is Kiowa Hakokirin, as they acquired that UK pharmaceutical company Prostracin, who was researching PSK3841, also known as RU58841, when they were interacting with Bayer. The reasons for not publishing the study outcomes remain a mystery. Adding a layer of intrigue, a Reddit user named Burgi claimed to have located and communicated with one of the doctors involved in the trials. Allegedly, the doctor shared that RU58841 was indeed found to be safe and efficacious. However, the continuation of the research was abruptly halted due to financial constraints. Using the Wayback Machine to revisit Prostracken's website, a company that once investigated the potential of RU58841 or PSK3841 uncovers intriguing claims about the molecule's capabilities. The archived webpage touts the molecule as an quote, innovative unquote solution with a quote, unique mechanism of action unquote, specifically tailored for androgen dependent conditions, specifically androgenetic alopecia and acne. Drawing from preclinical research, the molecule showed significant promise in multiple models for conditions including acne, androgenetic alopecia, and hirsutism. And for those of you who don't know, hirsutism is the excessive hair growth of unexpected areas on the body such as the face, chest, and back, and it typically occurs with females who have excess androgens, and one of those androgens are DHT. Anyway, these studies underscored the molecule systemic and dermal tolerance, and it looks like it was pretty well tolerated because they were able to go on to phase 2 of the clinical trial process. The website suggests that RU58841 or PSK3841 emerged unscathed, displaying no signs of systemic anti-androgen activity while maintaining commendable general dermal tolerance. By the time these details were posted, the molecule had cleared phase 1 trials and even showcased the potential in a phase 2 proof of concept trial for androgenetic alopecia. Impressively, the data suggests that after just 6 months of treatment, RU58841 demonstrated a level of efficacy comparable to what is observed with existing oral alopecia treatments after a full year, that being finasteride and also dutasteride, specifically in terms of net hair count increase. So we don't have the specific details about the terminal hair count increase, you know, the actual hairs that we see, the terminal antigen hairs. We just have this statement essentially saying that the total hair count went up. And this sort of phenomenon was observed in a sample size of 90 participants. And importantly, again, no systemic anti-androgenic effects were recorded. As a final note, the archived webpage states that this promising product was available for licensing. So yeah, everything on that website as it's being presented right now through the Wayback Machine, this was written before the completion of the Phase 2 clinical study. And it should be said, we don't have the published data on PSK3841, aka also known as RU58841's clinical trial results. So we don't have the Phase 1 clinical trial results, and we don't have the Phase 2 clinical trial results, despite them both being completed.